While on his trip above the bridge, Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist stopped by one of the Upper Peninsula's hottest tourist spots, using this time to see the businesses that thrive off of tourism. Certainly, so you know, the state of Michigan has really been unique in how we have an office to support outdoor recreational activities. And this all ties in with our work with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, but also with something new that we've created called the Office of Rural Development. We really want to make sure that there are resources to support ingenuitive people and entrepreneurs of all shapes and sizes who are doing amazing things in rural Michigan that really give these communities uh, this lifeblood and identity, create jobs and opportunities for people. And so we want folks to know if you have an idea in rural Michigan, the state of Michigan is going to be a good partner to support you. One of those businesses being a true UP staple, Iverson Outdoors. They've been lacing up snowshoes in the Upper Peninsula since the 1950s. And co-owner Jim Baker says... Yeah, it's great. Um, we, we, the, the state needs a diversity of businesses. We need big businesses, small businesses. It's nice to see that even though small businesses don't really have as much of an impact as the major employers do that would get some attention and we're recognized for the value that we contribute to the economy. Still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist wanted to see how Michigan can support small businesses all across the state. Well, you know, we throughout the pandemic, we've been doing our best to support small businesses. We, we have Michigan Economic Development Corporation. We created 23 different programs to support 25,000 small businesses and protect about 200,000 jobs. And we're gonna, those programs are continuing, continuing to leverage the federal resources to support small businesses and there's more programs that I know we're looking to create. We're going to use federal resources to use those dollars to get them into the hands of people who need them so they can keep people employed, keep their doors open, that they can open safely so that people who are coming to work have the peace of mind to be safe, people who are their consumers have peace of mind to be safe and hopefully we're going to continue to build on the momentum for tourism that the, that the Upper Peninsula of Northern Michigan has seen during the pandemic, Munising has had a record number of, uh, of visitors coming up here, 1.5 million people, for example. We hope to see that continue to grow. The lieutenant governor even strapped on a pair of snowshoes to take them for a test spin. He did a great job. He didn't, he didn't fall down. So <laughs> he seemed like a natural. We, we got him on a pair of shoes. Some people seem to, some people tend to be a little intimidated by walking with these big things on their feet, but he just hopped on and took off, did a great job. Reporting in Munising, Haley Schongart, Local 3 News.